now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Michelle, I'm a big fan of the speed walking. I might uh, get out there this afternoon do a little bit. I mean, we get temps close to 40. It's nice out there. It's not that. I actually went out yesterday with my two-year-old yeah. and the dog and then myself very pregnant. And there were still some icy spots. Yeah, i got to be careful. And the dog, I was like, all right, this isn't going to work. <laughs> i got to drop the dog back off. And right. my son and I ended up doing a loop around the neighborhood. So, yeah, it's another one of those <laughs> afternoons when you can get out there. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We've got a couple of flurries that are crossing parts of Connecticut and even central Mass. Massachusetts this afternoon. Those are all in fact, the lake affects no flurries that have stretched all the way into parts of western New England. We're getting a few clouds, but no flurries, and I expect us to stay dry for the rest of the daytime today. About 38 degrees, the temperature right now, wind chill at 31 with a northwesterly wind at about 10 miles an hour. Humidity is very dry. It's part of the reason that we're staying storm-free. 39 in New Bedford, I mean, nice comfortable day in westerly, 39, 36 in Smithfield right now. So we wind out the view. I don't expect temperatures to change too much much more this afternoon. You can see where some of these lake effect very narrow bands reaching down across parts of northern New England, New York State, and again stretching into parts of western New England. We should stay uh, partly to mostly sunny this afternoon with temperatures coming in uh, close to 40 degrees, especially in our inland areas. Then later on this evening for the commute home, I do expect temperatures to fall fast once the sun sets at about 430 this afternoon. Uh, we are headed out uh, towards a cooler night tonight, down even into the teens in spots. So the south coast for today coming in near 38 in Jamestown. Again, temperatures not changing much, lots of sunshine, northern suburbs mid and upper 30s, chilled sun, dry skies, and we will see sun and a few clouds mixing. It's pleasant, it's dry in Swansea and in Seekonk, temperatures around 38 degrees. Middletown in the upper 30s, Little Compton near 40, and New Bedford at about 38, which is very seasonable for this time of year. Tonight, it is colder. Last night we were in the upper 20s for much of the night. Tonight, down to about 17 to 22 by dawn tomorrow morning. And uh, it should be a little bit chillier tomorrow afternoon as well, but staying dry. The timing that we're watching for this offshore storm is still Friday into Saturday. Our computer models for the last, say, 24 hours have started to show a weaker, more offshore scenario. And, uh, and that would mean less of an impact for our area. And things haven't really changed from what I was thinking initially this morning. Uh, we will probably have a trough set up off to our west. And wherever that trough sets up, this little pink dash line, there will probably be a narrow band of some more moderate accumulations. Right now, what I'm thinking for our area is it will stay dry Wednesday into Thursday. Maybe some light snow Friday, mor uh, Friday morning and afternoon developing. I don't expect much in the way of accumulations on Friday. If we were to see some accumulations for our area, it looks more like Friday night into perhaps part of Saturday. 35 degrees. Sunday is dry at 35, Monday as well. Uh, Friday, Saturday, looks like it could be more of just a nuisance, maybe some slippery travel instead of any sort of blockbuster storm for our area. You can get your updated forecast and live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar 24 hours a day on the Pinpoint Weather Station, Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. We're still about two days out, so we'll keep yep. a uh, close eye on it for That's you. Right. All right, thank you, Michelle.